Hi everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance, walking plots. What are we seeing when we get out here? First things first, doesn't matter what hybrid this is, we're seeing kind of across the board this year, depending on what the product is, but variability. Look over here on this row. I got pink silk shit, just recently pollinated, if they are pollinated at all. Right here behind me, brown silks. So look at these, plant to plant. We're seeing quite a bit of difference here in how these plants are developing. A lot of this goes back to our dry June. If you think back, be it soil type differences, plant to plant differences, whatever it is, any kind of root restrictions. Some plants were just taller, more vigorous, looked better than others. And that's showing up now as we're getting into grain fill. So I host back about eight years here in a row. Just kind of give you a picture of what that looks like. Kind of what you might see if you go out and start husking back some ears. So first things first, let's start here. Nice looking ear, but notice how these kernels are wider. They have more of a whitish cast to them. We're at the milk stage here, so R3. These white kernels, the plant has stopped feeding these kernels. They're done. They're going to be aborted back and basically melt away. By the time harvest gets here, it's going to shrink back to almost nothing, so it won't be a problem at all. You won't even notice it. But right now, you're going to have about an inch or more of kernels aborted back on this ear. Next plant. Shoot, if you look at this side here, I got probably two inches that's going to abort back. Just has that kind of whitish cast to it. Not healthy and yellow like these down here. It's going to have a huge nose on it. Next one here, a little bit taller plant. Probably get a little more sunlight. Filled out pretty nice here. Maybe a couple on the end, but nice big ear. This one filled out pretty good here. No question, this one's going to have every bit of two to three inches of tip back on there. Next one here, again, an inch or two from the top here. That one's holding on pretty good. Just this little bit of unpollinated tip, maybe. This one, no question, lots and lots of tip back here. <clears throat> so, what do you do about this? If you're the kind of guy that walks out in the field, walks past the end rows, grabs one ear, and says, this ear represents the whole field, pause on that. Take time, look at a couple different ears. Look down the row a little bit more, kind of like this, to see the variability out there. You pick one ear, like this one, you might get a little, get a little, get a little too excited about how good your yields could be this year. Conversely, you pick one of these other ones, be down the blues and probably not gonna be quite that bad. So variability was out there early. <clears throat> that variability did not go away. So hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.